International aid groups have expressed anger over the refusal by the Burmese military government to accept all the help being offered. The aid agencies say that up to a quarter of a million people have yet to receive any help a month after parts of the country were devastated by Cyclone Nargis. They're starting from scratch, building a new home after Nargis swept away the old. Five members of the same family died here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this place is not too far from sea shore, so the high tide was terribly high, and all the, the houses, all the houses were totally destroyed. So where we're water. standing now, the water was up to here. Yes. They've received no aid, just the rice still drying in the sun. The villagers here that were lucky enough to survive the cyclone now have to rebuild their homes with practically no assistance whatsoever. They've also got to find food because the rice crop was almost completely wiped out by the seawater that came with the cyclone. And this is the kind of landscape they're having to deal with. On the streets of Rangoon, we found the untold story of the relief effort. So here's a pirate DVD copy of... Uh, amateur footage of the cyclone. On the front there's snapshots of bloated bodies. The DVDs show ordinary Burmese donating food and water. One man tells the camera he's here to help his nation. And there's anger the government hasn't helped more. They are very angry to the military junta because they, don't get, they, they didn't get any food. They didn't get anything from the military junta. And some kinds of revenge they want to make. Slowly, boatloads of aid are making their way to the victims of Cyclone Nargis. But a month on, hundreds of thousands lack enough food and shelter, and Burma's monsoon season is just beginning. Matt Proger reporting there and the US Navy has announced that it's withdrawing four warships laden with relief supplies following the Burmese military government's refusal to let them in.